Yo, 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 what is up my fallopian tubers, Cesario from the barrio coming back at you with another video for your butt. And today's going to be a video response to Baseball Collector. If you guys don't know, Baseball Collector has reached a thousand subs, man. So he's having a, a man, a contest for a hundred dollars. He's giving away a hundred dollars towards your favorite item that you want, so... I'm about to tell them what my favorite item that I would want right now for around a hundred bucks is. But first, I gotta... He just reached a thousand. I'm about to reach a thousand. I'm at, I'm at 988. So as soon as I reach a thousand, I'm giving away this Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Box. Um, so that's my uh, 1,000 giveaway that I'm going to give away as soon as I reach a thousand. He already reached it, so go enter his. And to win my contest... You have to go to Adam Haas channel. Go to Adam Haas channel. Check out his video. The most interesting package ever. Thank you, Pepino. No, that is not a typo from mine. That's how he spelled it. So, most interesting package ever. Thank you, Pepino, man. And the second thing to win, if you if um, I draw you from this, you have to be subscribed to Sebastian Select. He has a He-Man um, on his... Um, what's that called? His profile picture. So you have to be subscribed to Sebastian Select to win. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Go to this video by Adam Ha and tell me what color the Kotex is in the package. So go to this video, comment on this video because that's what I'm going to check. I'm going to go look on that video's comments. What color the green, <laughs> what color the Kotex is. And to win, you also have to be subscribed to Sebastian Select. That's it. Like this video, tell me the color of the code text, and be subscribed to Sebastian Select. And you'll be entered to win this hobby box of Topps Chrome Baseball. So anyways, let's go on to a um, baseball collector, 1,000 subs, all right? Okay, baseball card collector, no matter what anybody else is, this card says that your channel rocks, I say. Your channel rocks, I say. So he wants to know... The baseball collector wants to know if I could have a hundred dollars to spend on a card, what card would it be? Oh, so <laughs> my card that I would select would be the 1963 Tops number 496, Steve Dalkowski. All right, and the reason why I chose this card this is a card that I want pretty badly. This was number two on my list that I always wanted. Number one being the Doc Ellis um, LSD card, which I just recently got thanks to JMVP. And this was number two on my list, and so now this is number one. The 1963 Tops, number 496, Steve Dalkowski. And if you don't know who Steve Dalkowski is, well, who do you, who would you say has, throws the fastest? You know, who do you think has the fastest arm? You know, the best arm in baseball, pitcher-wise. Most of them that you choose, if you ask them who has who had the you know fastest arm you've ever seen, will say Steve Dalkowski. He was a legend. His only problem was that he threw too fast. If you're throwing so so fast, your ball has no control and it just goes out of place. So even in the movie Major League, part of his uh, wild things. Um, character came from Steve Dalkowski. He threw so fast that he couldn't control the ball. So that would be my card of choice, man. Uh, I'd prefer a grade 7, which is above 100. A grade 6 would be about 100. And if it went to a grade 7, if you could ever find one, because they're not easy to find, especially since I don't do eBay or anything like that, man. This this, hard is gonna, this card is going to be hard to come across for me. But this is my um, number one dream card right now. Love the hobby, people. Keep collecting baseball cards forever, essay. 